Question number 176, select the incorrect statement. Intercalated discs are communication junctions that allow the cells to contract as a unit in heart. Dendrites carry impulse towards the cell body. Bipolar neurons are found mostly in the cerebral cortex. Chondrocytes occur singly or in groups of 2, 3 or 4 in the lacunae. Let's identify an incorrect statement among the given statements. Statement 1 that intercalated discs which are found in the cardiac muscle tissue, these are the communication junctions and allow the cells to contract as a unit. This is a correct statement. Statement 2 dendrites carry impulse towards the cell body. This is also a true statement. These dendrites help to concentrate the incoming impulses towards the cell body. Statement 3 bipolar neurons are found mostly in the cerebral cortex. In the cerebral cortex, majority of the neurons are multipolar. So this is not correct, whereas bipolar neurons are found in the retina of eye, inner ear and in olfactory epithelium. So statement number three is incorrect. Statement number four that chondrocytes occur singly or in groups of two, three or four in the lacunae. This is also a true statement in the histological section of cartilage. These cavities are called as lacunae and we can see that these chondrocytes which are the cells present in these cavities can occur singly or in pair or in the groups of three or four. So this is a true statement. The only incorrect statement is statement three. That is why it's our answer. Question 177. Select the incorrect match. Four matches are given. We have to know which one is incorrect. Asbestosis, occupational respiratory disease, asthma, hypersensitivity to allergens, normal breathing rate in adult humans 22 to 26 times per minute, maximum transport of CO2 as bicarbonate ions. Let's find out the incorrect match. Match 1. Asbestosis with occupational respiratory disorder. This is a correct match. Diseases like asbestosis or silicosis occurs due to long or chronic exposure to these harmful substances and is related to occupations which involve handling of these substances. Match 2 asthma with hypersensitivity to allergens. This is also a correct match. Asthma which is characterized by wheezing or constriction of smooth muscles and bronchioles or the respiratory pathway is indeed related to hypersensitivity to allergens. The allergens could be dust, pollen grains, mites, etc. Hence is a correct match. Match 3 normal breathing rate in adult humans is 22 to 26 times. This is incorrect. A normal adult healthy human breathes about 12 to 16 times per minute. In a normal quiet setting and an infant breathes about 44 times per minute. So this is an incorrect match. Option 4 maximum transport of CO2 as bicarbonate ions. This is a correct match about 70% of CO2 is transported in the form of bicarbonate ions. The incorrect match is option number 3 and hence is our answer question 178 the disease malaria is spread by a vector which belongs to class crustacea perisodactyla insecta arthropoda the disease of malaria is spread by female mosquito namely anopheles and mosquitoes belong to class insecta of phylum arthropoda so among the given classes that are mentioned, Crustacea, Perisodactyla, Insecta would be the correct answer. Arthropoda is a phylum and not a class. The correct answer would be option number 3, Insecta, to which cockroach also belongs to the same class of phylum, Arthropoda. Correct answer is 3, Insecta. Question 179. Proboscis gland in hemichordates is associated with locomotion, excretion, respiration, circulation. The proboscis gland seen in hemichordates is a gland associated with excretion, that is removal of nitrogenous waste. And this occurs with the help of proboscis pore. And this pore is present in the anterior region of proboscis gland.
Thus, the right answer would be option number 2, excretion. And locomotion, respiration, circulation would be incorrect. The correct answer is 2. Question 180. Which of the following parts of scapula articulate with head of humerus? Spine, glenoid cavity, acromion process, glenoid cavity and acromion process. If you look at the structure of scapula, this is the dorsal view. That is a view seen from the back side of left scapula. Then we see the triangular shaped body of scapula and then there is this elevated ridge called as the blade of scapula. On the anterior side we have acromion process and this cavity like structure marked in red called as glenoid cavity. The head of the humerus bone which is the bone of the upper arm, articulates with a depression in the scapula called glenoid cavity. Thus, the correct answer would be option number 2, glenoid cavity. The clavicle articulates with this acromion process. The correct answer is option number 2, glenoid cavity. Dear students, we have come to the end of this quick solution session. Thank you very much.